All right. Well, everybody, welcome back to episode 25 of the Everybody But Me show. Oh. Phil, Dominique, <laughs> and Katie are all playing hooky tonight, but we have two special guests to fill their place. Um, we got Matt James, who the internet says we have not been friends for a little while, and uh, <laughs> Rachel, who says the internet says we hate each other. So, guys, it is Ooh. an honor to have you guys on here. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the beef, a little bit about you know our past and then a little bit about your dating life and, and things going forward and whatever advice you guys have to share with us and you guys can throw whatever you want to throw at me because it's only fair that way let's do it yeah no we're honestly a little offended it took 25 episodes to get us on here man it's not he did that on purpose you know 25 was his season of the bachelor our season. it was it was actually 15 <laughs> oh you're talking about Matt's season yeah it was 25 was your season yep Damn, it was all downhill after that, guys. Our season. <laughs> <laughs> Our season. But what a beautiful season. I mean, I'm going to start off with this, guys. I have a photo. I wish I could put it in the group chat that we have. But I'm, I'm going to put this photo up to, to Matt and Rachel. And we're going to start off with this as our first question of the day here. We all start with a hard question. I want to know, when you look at this photo right here, what was going on in your mind? That, that was the night. <laughs> Do you remember that night? Do you remember that night? So, guys, for yeah. those of you who can't see, I'm going I'm to explain this photo. It's Rachel. She, so you can look it up on the internet. She's in a red dress. She has the meanest face on right now, staring at Matt. She's got a rose. I mean, you're going to the next round. You should be happy. But what's going on here, Rachel? That was like the worst, one of the worst rose ceremonies for me personally. So I think that was the night all of the new girls came. I can't remember. Either way, so I actually, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. I got that rose on our date or a group date or something. So, like, I had that rose all night long. So, I was chilling. And there was some reason. Are you sure that wasn't when the new girls came? Yes. We didn't, I didn't get to speak to Matt that whole night. And I was really, really upset about it. Um. There was at one point I was behind the curtain, like the no filming zone. And I was on all fours just crying. And I was on all fours because if you're on all fours looking down, the tears just come straight out and they don't run down your face. So you don't mess up your makeup. You were on all fours crying, crying prior to. Yeah, I was like a dog. Like I literally was on all fours crying. So it would just drip straight out of my eyes onto the ground. So I wouldn't mess my makeup up. Wow, that is some TV magic and I was right just there. I'm mad that I didn't get to talk to him that night. That's all it was. I just wanted to spend time with you. you Bro, TC. Rachel, Rachel, you are what I would consider a very selfish contestant. <laughs> Aren't we all? We all have no. time with him. No, I mean, you got a rose. I'm over here fighting for time, right? You would be like the Luke P of my season, right? I'm over here fighting for time, and you're over here just coming in. You just called me Luke P. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy disrespect. I mean, I mean, no, you, you listen, got a rose. You're not, chilling. You're going. You're going, going to the next, and you got it on a group date. Like you stood out amongst the others. No, rose or not, you're trying to spend time with the person that you're supposedly going to be with for the rest of your life if he chooses you. So I'm just trying to get my time. That's all it was. Selfish. Uh, I, I'm going to disagree. I was on the other side of that, Rachel. You, you're what I would consider <laughs> a selfish contestant. Hey, I didn't interrupt a group date or anything like that. I didn't steal time with anyone. This was a rose ceremony. I was just trying to say hello. Okay. Okay. So, TC, you know what the craziest part about that is, though? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Luke B. The, like you're giving out the, like, the, that should be like the climax of the night is like, like you giving the rose, like you're safe for like another week or whatever it is. And like, bro, the women, I swear to goodness, halfway through the season, maybe even earlier, like they that were more upset. On. No, I was going to say they were more upset when the other women were going home than like getting their rose. Like they got their rose. And then their homie would go home and they were like crying. I'm like, yo, what are y'all upset about? Like, y'all get to stay. Matt, Matt, what they were Matt, why? they were at summer camp in Pennsylvania. They weren't interested in you. They were interested in just hanging out with each other. I, I didn't to get, an extent. I didn't get that. I didn't catch on to that till later, TC. You know, you know, we don't we, we don't cry because we have to go home. We cry because it's over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so true. 
you know? Yeah, you're like losing, some people are losing their roommates, like girls they like spent the night with every night, woke up to in the morning, shared all your secrets with, like it was a lot. Yeah, I know. And I saw, I heard after the fact that y'all were just vibing over there in that little. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know from from what everyone saw on TV. I know, I'm, I'm we over were, here we pulling my heart out. Y'all over there, you know, <laughs> making quesadillas and having <laughs> floaters in the, in, the, in the kitchen. That's so true. Uh, yeah, the bar more than anything. Everyone in the comments somehow is agreeing with you, Rachel, saying she wasn't there to make friends, Tyler. Um, <laughs> what else did they say? That was Brittany. But I did. Yeah, to be honest with you, you have to fight for that time. Like, I don't care if so-and-so gets time with Matt. I want time with Matt. They said, I'm just hurt. No, you got to play the game. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Still bitter, still hurt, still bitter. Yeah, but then again, maybe that's why Hannah always like, I never knew if you were totally into me or not. And I was like, I was just trying to be respectful to everybody. Yeah, because you were chilling. Not- there you go. That's probably what it was. You weren't fighting for that time. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what, what What was the hardest day for you there, Rachel? The hardest day? I had a lot of hard days. Um <laughs> What? How many times did you crawl? We just talked about how you were at summer camp. No, uh, how many no. times did you cry on all four? Oh, that was only that one time. The rest, I just let him let it ruin my makeup. Um, the hard week was fantasy week. The really hard day was when our last date got canceled. No comment. <laughs> no, you have to comment. Why, why, why was it canceled, man? Can I? That was really annoying. Bro, all right. First of all, <sighs> it was canceled because I feel like I already had, I had already kind of made up my mind. Well, yeah, I'd already made up my mind. That's why I was canceled. And then, you know, as someone who hadn't been The Bachelor before or been on the show, like people's feelings waver, like really up into that last moment where you're like, you're proposing, you're not proposing. And uh, they really weren't trying to hear that. So um, <laughs> it led to a whole, they just flipped it upside down. Like right when you think when you're in control, they just pull it right back from you. Yep. Like, no, I'm not doing this today. I don't feel like doing this. And like, all right, bet. <laughs> Everything's different. You're like, wait, what? I can't talk to Rachel. Like, yeah, it was crazy, bro. Like, I, I, honestly, after that date got canceled, I, 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 on everything, I thought Rachel was going to send herself home. Really? Like I they thought, were, I'm sure they were. I'm sure that was the goal. Like I, I did not think that you were going to be there the next day. If Rachel sent herself then, home, if Rachel sent herself home, would you pick anybody? If Rachel sent herself home, we might have had a, we might have had a Clayton situation, but from a different standpoint. Wait, because what do you mean? You would have picked someone else if I left. No, I'm saying because like Susie sent herself home, and he yeah. was like, "No, I don't like." It. I don't know, because he's he he hit all three of them, so he was wild. <laughs> Whoa. He was. <laughs> uh, we talked about it after the fact. He called me after and and he was like, yo, um, I want to talk to you about like we had the conversation we should have had before he went, but yeah. we didn't know each other. So like as he's telling me all these things, I'm just like, oh my goodness, bro. Like, I'm trying to like like yo, it's gonna be okay, type stuff. But at the same time, like, yo, because you you were you, you were adamant about not having sex in there. Yeah, just because like I thought that was like kind of weak for me. Like that's my thing. Like like I'm not like you could do whatever you want to do in there, but like like you could do that on your own time. Like I don't think I needed that validation to know if I was gonna be with that person or not. And like I thought that it would be a disservice to the women. Um, that's what I was about to say. Who I wasn't gonna be with. No, and the w- woman you were gonna be with. Like I didn't. I didn't, I didn't okay, okay. I disagree with you, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it's gonna go all night. Mm-hmm. So that that's that was just my stance though. Like obviously people don't agree with it, but it's like there's people who are like, oh, you're a pussy. Like you know, you should have like done this and done that. <laughs> and then like, then you get crucified for doing it. Mm-hmm. Like. Either way, yeah. like people are gonna be upset, so that's why you got to do stuff for yourself. And I was like, man, sure. I'm not with all that, personally. So this no, and I'm glad you weren't. That would have been really hard. You would have left. I probably would have left. I would have pulled a Susie, and everyone gets so mad about that because 
everyone's like, that's the whole point of fantasy suites and that's what you sign up for. Like, you should know that that's probably going to happen. And if you're not okay with that, you shouldn't be on the show. That's not required. That's up to the individual. Obviously, Matt didn't do that. If he would have done that, I probably would have left too. Yeah, I would have been like, why would you do that if you were going to pick me? You know? What is, is, is there a right answer for that? Like, why did you? I, I think the answer is, it's I not, I, I think the answer is, it's not my business. Okay with it. What? I think the answer, I mean, for me as a contestant, my answer was, it's not my business. Like, like you go have sex Maybe and go do, go do whatever you want to do. But like, if you're going to pick me at the end, like you're going to know that I'm the guy. You know? Yeah. Okay, so here's this. I think Matt at that point already knew he was picking me, so then why would you go sleep with other people if you know you're I agree with that. Me? That's fine. I think that's perfectly fine. I think yeah, Matt, I never thought about it like Tyler saying though. What? Well like, some people go in there not business. knowing. Some people go in there and they don't know who they're gonna pick. And that can it, it, help them decide. My whole thing was like you try I'm flip over every that. stone and make sure <laughs> this is where you're going, this is where you're going. Flip over every stone or flip over every cheek. <laughs> Cheek too, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but not okay. But but my thing is is like I I, I kind of treat it like as like a relationship. Like we're all like several relationships, but like whatever happens before we make that commitment to each other, I felt like we weren't boyfriend, girlfriend. Like I for me, mm -hmm. I was like we're really together once we have that once we take that next step, like the engagement. And for me, the engagement was like being a boyfriend and girlfriend with a ring on your finger. And so, yeah. so my whole thought process was like, if she has sex with any of these dudes, like, I don't care. I have a, I have a past. I've done so much shit in my past, you know? So mm -hmm. who am I to judge her for trying to figure things out for herself? Cause yeah, you may really like somebody. Help you figure it out. That's what'll help. You may but. really like somebody. Then you have, you have zero physical chemistry with that person. And then you're like, damn, I can't do this. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you took that chance. <laughs> Yo, my mind's been open. I hadn't thought about it like that. Like my mind doesn't work like TC's because I don't be thinking about booty. <laughs> so when I when it, so hearing this, it opens my mind to seeing the complexity of how TC thinks. And Matt has, it, has nothing, it has nothing to do with just booty. No, you're right. I'm just thinking about the fantasy suite. No, yeah. a physical connection is obviously very important. But like I said, there's two ways you can go about it. Like if you don't know who you're going with. And that physical intimacy, like, is can be a very big deciding factor. Of course, I think that's the whole point of fantasy suites for the show. Yeah. Is like you figuring out that physical aspect of it if you need to, if that's something that's important for you. But if your mind's already made up and you already know who you're going to pick, then you are doing all the women a disservice by even the women you're not picking. You're doing a disservice by using them essentially, and then the woman you are picking. And you know you're picking. Why would you do that if you know you're going to be with her? Wait, so why did Clayton get in trouble? I don't know if he already knew he was picking Susie. I guess because he said, I want to be with Susie. And then she left. So then he slept. I don't know. <sighs> Dang. I don't know. Oh, oh, I know why. Because he told all of them that he loved them. Ah, uh, you can't do that. Why That's not? Why. why can't you? I don't know. I guess a lot of people, I don't, I don't know. Like... <clears throat> Can you? I guess the whole question was, can you love three people at the same time? I will say this. I don't know. I think love's different for a lot of people. For me, I have seen with my own eyes, I've seen people who have multiple relationships and they literally, teammates, like former teammates who love every one of their, you know, girls the same independently. So from Do that- Do these girls know about each other? Probably not. Okay. But I'm to Sounds I'm like you were playing football in Utah, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I'm saying uh, let's talk about Utah actually. When's the last time you were not in Utah for football? <laughs> <laughs> we already told that story on here, Matt. Oh yeah, I know. We already talked about that. Um no, but I'm just saying, like, I can um, to Tyler's point about someone loving multiple people, mm -hmm. like I don't know. You're saying I don't that's where they get you. You tell multiple people you're falling in love with them, and then I it's, don't a, know. it's a very weird environment because in that environment you do think <laughs> that I, I can see how you can fall in love with multiple people, but I think once you leave that environment, he probably realized like I didn't love all three of them, and I think he did say that. 
I think people do get lust and love confused a lot of the time. Especially. I think it's also, I think bubble love is a thing too. Like you're in there and you're in that bubble, like, damn, I had the best time yeah, with her. Exactly. And I turn around, oh shit, I had the best time with this girl. You know, like that can make it extremely, extremely hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's very easy to, to fall in love in that environment. I mean, you're in the most romantic dates, places, doing all the things like you're spewing your heart out, not just having like normal conversations. Like I'm sure he did. At the time, think he loved all three. Is that how it was with you and Anna? <laughs> I, <laughs> I think she was really in. I mean, she loved Jed. She was really into Jed. I think Peter, she was really into. And then I was like the kind of like the surprise. I feel like I was like the surprise towards the end where everything kind of started flipping. And so mm -hmm. I think that's what she struggled with. And I, and I, I can't ever blame her because I, I could imagine being incredibly hard to do. Like you went into there knowing like, okay, I want to be with Rachel. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So here's my next question. Did you feel obligated to say yes to the fancy suite to those girls? Um, <clears throat> because- that, Oh snap, you didn't have to say yeah. Have people said no to the fancy suite? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, you asked all three, like, did you have to ask all three? I guess, oh, all right, no, no, it wasn't like they pulled my arm like, all right, Matt, like, come on, you gotta do this. I was like, Honestly, it was nice to be off camera. Like, that was the biggest thing. Like, mm -hmm. you're, like, you know, everyone thinks that Fantasy Suite's all boom, boom room. Like, it's a chance to have, like, honest, open conversations about things that you might not be comfortable talking about on camera. Yeah. Yep. Like, in most of the instances, like, I didn't sleep at all. Mm -hmm. Like, I stayed up all night, like, just, like, talking. And, like, we learned more about each other that night than we did throughout the entire experience. Yeah. So, like, that's what I use the time for. Like, you could use it for whatever you want. So, like, I was just like, man, this is going to be nice to be, like, you get some good food. You get to spend time with someone that you're vibing with. Were you, were you ever like, damn, I just want to go to bed, though? <laughs> <laughs> like, this shit's cooling off. I just want to go to bed. Probably. Like, it's um, three, 3 in the morning. I'm tired. Like, I could have a full night's sleep. But I'm in here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm in here talking to somebody, but no one, I'm in here talking to somebody knowing now. that I'm picking Rachel. TC, TC, that's how he is now. I'm like sitting there, it's like 10 p.m. He's on TikTok and I'm like trying to like nuzzle up to him and talk to him about life. And he's like, baby, I'm tired. I'm like, okay. Well, conversation hours are before 10 p.m. though. After like, like if you want to talk about that went out the door when we stayed up all night and fancy seats. No, but I'm saying now, like if you want to talk about something serious, it's between nine a.m. and five p.m. business hours, nine to five, and then anything and after I know, that. I know you can stay. <laughs> like, I know because we've done it. I nine, all I get is nine to five. I'm saying for the serious stuff, like we can cuddle and do all that other stuff, but like <laughs> at, at at eleven p.m. when I'm not sharp, like I can't answer. Like, what are you thinking about? It's like. I don't, I'm not thinking about anything. I'm tired. <laughs> See, well, that's the disconnect. That's the question, bro, at 11 p.m. Matt, yeah, baby. What are you thinking about? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> nothing. Like, I'm tired. My, my feet hurt. I'm, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. Yo, but if, you, if, but if you say not, if you say nothing. Five. See, Tyler, that's Matt, probably one thing you don't miss. If you say nothing, then something's wrong. Yeah. What? You know what I mean? Rachel, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. He's right, he's right. Like, what? like, what are you thinking about? Nothing. You, I do that. You're always like, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing. But something's wrong when no. you say it. No. Remember the other day, you were like, are you okay? When I checked in on you in the exercise room. Remember? Nothing was wrong. I was saying, he does it too. I would say nine out of ten times, if you ask, if I ask Rachel what's wrong, she says nothing, something's wrong. When she asked me, there's literally sometimes <laughs> there's nothing going on in there. Like, well, that would happen to me out. all the time with my ex. <laughs> I guess all women are the I just want to have these deep meaningful convos with you before bed maybe no go to bed. Ah, she, she asked me like what's going on in your mind and if I like, if I were to tell this girl truly like what's going on in my mind right now <laughs> she'd be what the, who the fuck am I dating what the fuck is wrong with this man <laughs> cause I'm over here thinking about yeah. I'm over here thinking about like that cover two play where I threw the interception like sophomore year <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so you know, that's a good point, though. Like, they don't really want to know, CC. Yeah, we're, like, hoping you're, like, thinking about something sweet about us. <laughs> yeah. Like, they like they really don't want to know what we're thinking about. 
Oh, we always want to know what you're thinking about. You do, little key. It's like the it's like it's like the meme. It's like the lady's like, God, like God, he must be cheating on me or thinking about something else. And he's over here like trying to figure. He's over here and like laying on the other side of the bed, flipped over. And he's like, I need to change this, you know, this and this and this, so I can get my motor working. You know, bro, exactly. <laughs> he's probably out cheating, literally playing guitar here in the next room. Like. <laughs> That's so true. And and black people don't cheat, so it's just you know, black people don't cheat. I, well, I don't think you cheat. Well, black men don't cheat. How about men? Period. Don't cheat. Well, I can't. I can't. I can't vouch for 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 something that's false. Men, no. Boys cheat. So Matt, men Matt, you want to go out on a limb here and say black men don't cheat? Black men don't cheat. The black men in the crowd are very happy to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was for Ian and Tyler. Yeah, they're here. They're here. They're loving it. <coughs> oh man, white men don't cheat either, though. Men, men, period. <laughs> Boys cheat. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're Boys right. cheat. Men don't cheat. There you go. You're right. <laughs> Boys cheat. I agree with that. Are you a boy? I'm not a boy. Black men don't cheat though. <laughs> Okay. When when was a time where you're like, Rachel, I'm done with Matt's shit? Because I have I have like 24 times. <laughs> oh, I have. How long we have? I mean, you, you got you got you got time. Well, I mean, I'm sure he feels the same way. But the I'm done with Matt's shit list. I think the top of it, just like on a daily basis, <laughs> is what, what are you gonna say? Do you no, know I have no idea. Mine is uh, the top of my list is when he has his clothes every- hanging on sweaty clothes hanging oh on the TV. Oh my gosh! Like just just do anything with them other than hang them over every single door, every handle, chair, table, like everywhere. I'm like, this looks terrible. I got him drying racks. So I like I can't even like shut the bathroom doors to go to the bathroom because there's his cap. And his shorts and his shirt from working out right there. I mean, it's every single morning, every day, all day. It's that's the one thing every day pisses me off. I'm consistent. He's consistent. Matt, what's your uh, what's your pet peeve with Rachel? Um, this is just therapy class. I'm the therapist. <laughs> <laughs> this, have you seen the the ick? Um, yeah. Trend? What's y'all's x? Let's go through the x. That's an egg. That's Bro, an you know egg what? You know this is funny. I actually never told Rachel this before. She might get upset. <gasps> oh no. Okay, what? <clears throat> so you know how I've just been like randomly getting up and like going downstairs sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, when you don't take a night? No. Or just, just like, like when it's too chaotic? Yeah, not even when it's too chaotic. It's when when you have Josie right here and you're just like. <laughs> Oh yeah, he hates that I kiss my dog. Bro, I think that I do not approve. Because she's gonna try and kiss you dog. next, Matt, huh? Yes, bro. And the dog be licking their booty hole and all that stuff. Like, but but he acts like I'm like kissing her mouth. Like I'm just kissing her head, and he hates that. I Rachel, you basically like kissing booty hole. <laughs> you know what? You probably kiss booty hole. I know he's kissing. Booty you probably hole. kiss. And I know. I know y'all kiss each other's booty hole. <laughs> We're talking about you. We're talking about you kissing booty hole. <laughs> At what point okay, of the dating I, did y'all start doing that? What? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> what do you say? He said, at what point did y'all start doing that? <laughs> that's you. No, I'm just oh, man. That, that, that's, that's, that's day two for dating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> but my, my biggest pet peeve with Matt was the same thing that you said. Him putting his clothes everywhere. <laughs> he does little things. I mean, there's a ton of little things, but that one's the most consistent. And what? and the the places where he finds storage, where where he thinks storage is, you know, like what? The way he stocks the fridge, I'm like. What? But I think that's most guys. We had we had this cr uh, credenza, right? Or a console mm -hmm. table. It was a beautiful console table. Had like nice stuff on it, paintings underneath it, and then it had thirty pairs of shoes lined up, stacking up <laughs> on top of each other. <laughs> and like 
like, just because they're stacked neatly, he thinks it looks good. Or <laughs> hey, that is funny because it's true. That is so funny. It's, it's yo. I don't. I honestly have no idea why I did that. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I just put my shoes under there, thinking it was out of the way. It's completely see through. Like, there's like you could see the shoes in there. I'm like, oh, this is a good place to put shoes. Bro, it's terrible. It'll look horrible, probably. <laughs> Needless to say, we don't we don't keep the shoes there anymore. No. Nope. Well, whenever whenever the day comes that we actually have to share a house, I'm decorating the whole thing, and I will tell you where to put your things. That's, that's, gonna, that's, that's gonna be a basic ass house. You can have your own room. I can pick a room though, or like a bathroom or something to decorate. You can have like the basement or something. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that. Rachel, okay. Rachel, you, you should you should hire me for help. I would love that. For we sure. talked about this. Mm-hmm. I'll help you. I'll get you right. Yeah, and you need you need to give Matt weird storage space for him to hide all of his shoes. <laughs> yeah, that actually would be a fun thing to build into the house. Yeah, yeah, we need. Cool or you just need to get rid of the shoes that you don't wear. That too. Where I'm, That's I'm honestly point. more of a hoarder than he is, though, so I can't say anything. All right, but let's let's talk also about need to build us some drying racks. We got you. So let's talk about <laughs> this. Where did our beef start, Rachel? Um, definitely with you. With me? Ooh. Yeah, for sure. Really? You, you were doing interviews left and right, just throwing me under the bus. <laughs> no. Saying I'm the old ball and chain. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you where the beef started. Actually, I take that back. He started the beef. I'll tell you where the beef started. <clears throat> so. I know where it started now. Well, I know, I know where it okay, started. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, I hadn't been in a relationship since like like I hadn't been I had a girlfriend like a serious committed relationship in years so like coming off of the show I was like I didn't know what it meant to be like a boyfriend yet so like I was still like like my boyfriend was my girlfriend was my boyfriend and girlfriend was still technically Tyler so like I didn't know that like I had to spend more time with you than Tyler yet and like include you we in can things. All spend time to no, I know, I know. But at the time, I didn't know I had to include you in those things. And I was doing boyfriend girlfriend things with TC still. And then like like it slowly started to like do. And then I was I like was I was doing a lot of that. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna say that. Well, that was I feel like that's what it was. I okay. feel like I was like I was like you weren't balancing your. Time. I wasn't balancing my time. And then I tried to balance it by like including you and the things that like me and TC were doing. And then in, in part, it was like mess. It was like messing Boy. up y'all's relationship. Mm-hmm. And then I went on Andy Cohen and I was like, that's what I was going to say. Andy <laughs> they're like, Cohen. They're like, what are, what he said? Like, what, what's Rachel and Tyler's, Tyler's relationship, relationship love like? Hate. Oh, that's love hate. And everyone's like, Ooh, I was like, Oh shit. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, then articles. Mm-hmm came out and then I guess that's where all the interview questions came in. You were like, yeah, I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, so, you know, when you, when you first started dating Matt and you started moving in, I had a ball with you. I had fun with you. I was like, Oh, she's way more fun than Matt. Like she'll actually drink with me, have fun with me. You know, she, she won't go to bed at, at 10 30 PM and we're all trying to go out. <laughs> we, have, we have a party at the crib and Matt's asleep. You know, mm-hmm. so I was like, true. oh, she'll be great. She'll be a lot of fun. And then, uh, and then I just kept waking up hungover <laughs> from all my partying. And Rachel's like, you need to do better, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Out of love. That is so true. <laughs> and she was like, you need to not be acting like that. I was like, and I was like, and I was spiraling. I was going through like. That's when, yeah, I was about to say, that's when you were going through your phase. I was going through like a dark time. Yeah, and I was like, "Man, if this girl don't get out of here, she's over here, <laughs> takes my homie, and then she's over here in my crib with her makeup everywhere, and now she's telling me how I'm supposed to be." Uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so like King true. Curtis. I was like, "I'm gonna get my my bags. I'm packing them. I'm out. Like, I want chicken tenders. <laughs> I'm gonna have chicken tenders." We're the sorry people. Yeah. Yo, that is so I'll say true. this. Anything I ever said to you was from a place of love because I knew you were hurting. And I personally don't think, 
like going and getting drunk and all of that is like, I think there's a time where you can get things out of your system. But I do think at one point you have to like, like love your, like give yourself some TLC. No doubt. And I was just running from that. Yeah, you know, and, and, I and think so I was trying to tell you I, so that you were, you and I was, I always looked at you like a sister right away. You know what I mean? Because you were a mad girl. Mm-hmm. I was like, I knew she was looking out for me. I was like, but I don't want to hear her shit. So I, I would just give you attitude or mess with you because I, I looked at you like a sister. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I was okay with that. Honestly, I was fine with all of it until all of the the articles and stuff started coming out, and then I was like, wait, did I do something? That's why I texted you. I was like, what is yeah. this about? No, Rachel was Rachel was a thousand percent right and in the right. You know what I mean? She was looking out for me. But I was just being a little stubborn piece of crap, which I can be, you know. And uh, but I mean, my friends over here, Tyler and Ian, that were really part of the whole debauchery. Like they were, yeah, they were key contributors to, to the Ian. spiral. And they're here in Jupiter to spiral with me this week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, uh, spiraling every once in a while is okay. Yeah, I call it getting your wiggles out. Yeah, you can get some wiggles out. Just yeah. don't turn it into a lifestyle. No, it's not a lifestyle. And, I love that. And, I love and, that. Get and, the wiggles and out. And they're all they're not in relationships. Yeah, but I mean, it depends. Like, if you want to be in a relationship, I don't think that's the lifestyle you should be doing. But if you don't want to be in a relationship, then I don't think it's a lifestyle either way. It's not a sustainable lifestyle. Yeah, it's not. I ran it for six months, and I was like, I was like, down and depressed, terrible. It was bad. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like I don't, yeah, you shouldn't, no one, no one, doesn't matter who you are, you shouldn't be going out every single night getting hammered every single night. Yeah. That's not good for you. It was not. <laughs> and then, then you got, then I have to wake up, I'm waking up hungover, just trying to get a drink of water out front. And Rachel's like, you shouldn't have done that last night. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what's funny about that? I Like there would be like clear times where like, <clears throat> I don't know. TC, you honestly fed into it though. Sorry, you. How'd I feed into it? <laughs> yeah. He would feed into it. He'd like come out with like extensions on. He'd like show oh, me his pillows. I, I pulled out this girl's extensions. I wore them out. <laughs> he would like show me, like, he's like, look at the makeup on this pillow. Like, <laughs> Whoa, oh. Rachel! This is a show about you guys, not about me. <laughs> hey, she, hey, boy. Hey, you fed into it, is all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's telling you on fire, but oh man! I'm just trying to get him back for all the times so he threw me under the fire. No, I'll never honestly, forget ball and chain. No, <laughs> no but when, when y'all were going at it though, uh-huh. like, and you were giving it to him, like you were really hard on him, and then he would like kind of turn up on you a little bit, and then he'd leave or go do something, and then you'd be like, I don't know, like does Tyler not like me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nah, he's just, he's just breaking you in. I'm like, shit. Yeah. And if, like Rachel, like our house during the quarantine with everybody, like it was, it was tough love everywhere. Yeah. You know, like, I think I got a taste of it. It was people talking shit everywhere. And that's just how we kind of communicated. I definitely, I don't think I would have survived that environment. A lot of people didn't. Yeah. I would have, I wouldn't have. <laughs> we broke brown, baby. We broke, a lot of people got broke. <laughs> A lot of people. I even was broken at one point. I don't have like a, I'm not like strong in that sense. Like if anyone's mean to me, I'll just like cry immediately. Like I can't really give it back. I wish, I wish Kate was here. Um, One of the funniest times during COVID and then I'll get off of it. But we're talking about, you know, people getting broken during COVID. Um, Like we all got the, uh, like a few people in the house got YouTube channels and we thought it would be a great idea to have like a Q and A session and everyone on the house sits on a couch oh, and we ask I've the question. This. And um, like the sweetest, <laughs> nicest woman ever. And um, you know, we're going around like asking polarizing questions. Who do you uh who do you hate most in the house? And then uh Tyler's little brother Ryan goes, uh, honestly, Kate. <laughs> and like it just killed the whole vibe. Like she's crying, she's like, What? Like you hate like known each other forever. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a horrible idea. But like, you, insert anybody into that. Like, there was there was, everyone, everyone had breaking teams. points, and they were all found and met. I would have had a breaking point every day. Yeah. I would have yeah. like daily breaking point. Yeah. I mean, I was outside running sprints. I hate sprints, but I was just doing it to get away. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Oh man. I'm sure Matt's clothes were everywhere. You know another thing that you do? What? You don't flush. Were you flushing? I tried to save water. 
Does he flush at least? He, he, he'll like pee and not flush, right? He'll pee and not flush, <laughs> and then he'll wad up a bunch of toilet paper. Oh, this is hilarious. Can I, can I tell? <sighs> You're not going to do it justice, but you can tell. It. No, you... you go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so after Matt goes to the bathroom, goes to the bathroom, he, by cleaning up the bowl, like, because, you know, there's like... What would you call that? Like streaks? Rem remnants. I, I call that Left. I call that paint in the bowl. My nickname yeah. is Picasso. Okay, so he doesn't want any paint there. So he'll take a bunch of toilet paper and just plop it in the toilet. And then he'll just leave it there. And I'm like, why do you do this? What kind of science? Like, so next time, he says, so next time, like, it'll sit there for a little bit, gather up all the paint, and then he'll flush. So I'm just, like, going about my day, and I see... <laughs> All of this to wadded up toilet paper in my toilet constantly. That's if you it. see wadded toilet paper, you know business was done. <laughs> then I wasn't sure if he did that every day in quarantine. But I don't know how that makes any sense. Thank you. Because the when the paper gets wet, it it, it sinks. The buoyancy levels, it, it sinks. So it makes the water sticks. go higher? It sticks to the bowl. And then when you flush it, it pulls everything out. So it cleans the bowl technically. You got to throw the, the sheets down quick, though, so that it, it gets all the stuff. I think that if you just flush again, the water will get it. Sometimes no. the stuff is strong and heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Have you seen Rachel poop? I don't know if Rachel poops. <laughs> I don't know if you do or not. I was, having, not I was having this conversation with Rob the other day. He said him and his wife, they'll be sitting there talking with each other. She'll be on the ground and he'll be pooping. Oh, we do that. I, I can communicate, but I've never, I've, honestly, I don't know if you ever have. That's so not true. I'm like, all right, I have to go to the bathroom. Bye. I don't, I won't do it in front of them. I can't do it in front of anyone. But when like, y'all leave, it smells friends. better. Like, y'all like be lighting candles. Like, you had a candle in the bathroom. I told you there's, there's poopery you should use. What's poopery? What's poopery? Poopery is a spray that you spray in the toilet before you go. And somehow it, it makes it not smell bad. I really don't know wow. how. That's interesting. To me. interesting. That's what, like, wow. I told you to use it. Uh, have y'all ever shared the story about how y'all started talking again? Um, yeah. Yeah. I think that was in your book. Mm-hmm. Was you talk about it though? Yeah, I think that's a great story. I'm trying to think of, honestly. So I was like so mad at him. Honestly, I get like re mad when I talk about it. We're gonna get in a fight after this. Oh shit! My <laughs> bad, y'all. Damn, my bad, no, man. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I was really, really, really mad at him. I had him blocked. I was like, all right, I'm moving on. For like six weeks, I was just like trying to like, basically like get you back, or like I just knew that we wanted to be together, mm -hmm. or so you were saying. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let's just be together. What is this then? And um, yeah, six weeks later, shit hit the fan. Everything blew up in his face, I would say. <laughs> right? Yeah, left, right, upper, uh, uppercut. And yeah. um, and I was like, I, I literally was like, I never want to speak to you again. Stormed out of his apartment, packed my bags, went to my friend's apartment. Um, and then we didn't speak for like what a week or two. Yeah, we didn't speak for a week. <clears throat> Was it and, after um, after you guys already broke up on TV? Yeah. So we had, so we had broken up, and then for six weeks we were still in communication, talking, trying to. I thought we were working through things from what I understood, thinking we were gonna get back together. Shit blew up in his face. <laughs> And um, I was like, okay, I'm so done with you. I never want to speak to you again. I can never trust you, like all this stuff. Leave. And at that point, I was like, actually, I was like, okay, I'm going to actually try and move on. Because for six weeks, I like wouldn't let myself move on because I knew like we were supposed to be together. So this is like my first time I'm like actually like trying to move on. I block him. So like I wouldn't like call him or text him or he wouldn't call or text me or like if he did, I wouldn't get it. And then after a week, I was like, that's a little immature. So I unblocked him, and it turned out... He... Oh, let me tell this part. Okay. 
So this is where this is where I pick in. This is where this is where I pick into the story. So <laughs> so it's been a week, and I was like, man, I got to get out of here. Like everything reminds me of her. So I got to get I got to go to California. So I went to California, and I'm just like uh, just skateboarding, like going to the beach, just like doing like active things to just like occupy my mind and time. And um, at that time in like life and like our history. Everyone was like boxing everybody. Like there was like everyone. There was like a celebrity boxing match this week and you, that weekend. I'm, I'm just laughing at you. Said everything reminded you of me, and then you went to the house that was our happy couple house in California. You remember that, Michael and Crystal's house? Did I? Yes, you went back there with, and that's how you met Michael and Crystal. No, I went to their house house. I didn't go to their house. I went to their Oh, well, still. You're messing up my story. Okay, anyways. So, um, anyways, I get invited to this fight. And I'm in California. They're like, hey, this, you, like, you want to come to this fight with us in Atlanta? And I was like, uh, I was like, why not? There's going to be a fun weekend. Like, go watch the fight. Um, whatever. <clears throat> so, you with all the TikTok boys. Yeah, I was with all the TikTok yeah. guys. Um, it was a big weekend. So, I get to Atlanta. They can put us up in a nice hotel. Um, like right, like right Is in the middle. Se- was it the Four Seasons? Yeah, somewhere like really right, nice. right, right in the middle of downtown. Like Midtown. Somewhere I'd never been, but I was, oh, this is kind of nice. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> I'll never forget. Get there that night. The next morning, I wake up. I go downstairs. I'm on the Peloton, like you know, just working out, doing my thing. And I get a notification on my phone, and it says that Rachel has started sharing her location with you. And I was like, oh shit. And I was like, uh, I stopped my ride instantly. And I was like looking at my phone and I opened up the phone and I clicked on her location because it said she's sharing her location with me. I swear to goodness, she was two blocks away from me. That's crazy. We haven't communicated in... Six weeks. like 10 days. 10 days. This is the longest we've ever gone without talking. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, this is a signal. I'm like, she's trying to tell me that she's like trying to meet up. <laughs> Like, like I my, drove to see him. My dumb ass. I'm like, oh, snap. Like, I got to get, like, so I leave. I'm in my workout clothes, bro. You I'm, wanted to meet up with me? Yeah, I wanted to see you. So I'm, like, running around downtown like I'm on Pokemon Go, just, like, trying to follow the dot. <laughs> and then I get to this building. Trying to find that Pikachu. <laughs> 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 bro, you're a fool. So I get to this building, and... um. And I'm looking up and I'm like walking around, I'm like, is she outside? Like it's like she's in this building. And then I you, I think I FaceTimed you. you or yeah, I, you did. And you didn't pick up and then I called you. And you're like twice. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm I'm here. And you're like, what are you talking about? She lives like an hour and a half from where I was. She just happened to be staying at her friend's house that night, which was literally two blocks, bro. I'm talking about like five hundred feet from where I was staying. Like, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I, I like I I I thought you were trying to tell me you were, like, you want to see me? She's like, no, I just unblocked you. And I was like, oh, well, I'm outside. <laughs> like, can I, like, talk to you and apologize? I, he, were, he was like, can I talk to you? I was like, we literally have nothing else to talk about. Like, this is just when everything had blown up. I was like, I don't really know what else there is to talk about. And then that's when you were like, I just want to say sorry. And I was like, okay. Yeah, and so okay, we were, sorry. we sat in the parking deck for like five hours. Yeah. And I was just like. <laughs> he was crying? <laughs> Literally just sat there and cried the whole time. He was like, I don't know who I've been. I was like, it was TC. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I'm just kidding. Not <laughs> yet. It wasn't TC yet. No, I was, uh, I was a fool. And um, I just like, I was like, listen, if you give me another chance, like. I promise that, like, I'm going to do it right. And that was... He's kept his promise. That was two years ago, man. Like I said, black people don't cheat, man. I'm trying to tell y'all since the beginning of the... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. No, I mean, I I will say uh, it's been amazing to see because, first of all, I never seen Matt kiss a girl before. Actually, I saw him kiss a girl one time before he went on the show and we were at dinner and when he left dinner, he went to kiss his girl and his hand covered like her whole face when he kissed her. <laughs> he told me that. And I'm like, oh man, this man don't know how to kiss. 
And he's about to go be the bachelor one day. Well, this is before like we even got into bachelor talks, but I was like, yeah. and then later on, I was, then like later on, he became the bachelor. I was like, man, this Your man really, this man really don't know how to kiss. Like, he's about to go on live television and kiss. And sure enough, we saw on TV he can't kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to have a. I like to see what's going on. It was. Like it, it was the yeah, funniest he does, he thing likes to, to make see. Sure no one's sneaking up on us. Has he? Has he? Does he kiss with his eyes open still, Rachel? Probably. But my eyes are closed, so it's fine. I think it's only weird <clears throat> if two people have their eyes open. Yeah, so sometimes, like, <laughs> I'll go in and I'll, like, get my eyes open. Like, it's just to be funny, and he'll close his eyes, because he's like, that's weird. Like, if I'm it's like, two people with their eyes open, then you just look goofy. <laughs> but if your eyes are open, then you could be doing whatever. You know what I mean? Like, be, and they'll never know. Rachel, like, you, you, know, you, you need to peek one day and just report back to us. Oh, I, I'm telling you, I've opened my eyes before just to be funny, and his eyes are open. <laughs> and then, and then I'll close them because he's like, "That was weird." He was like, "You can't look at me." He's like, "Only I can have my eyes open." Like he doesn't like if I open my eyes, even if I'm just being funny. Only yeah. he can do it. Hold on, but when did when did we learn how to kiss? Like, what? Like, why do you have to have your eyes closed? Like, that just seems like a because little kid what, thing. Like, because of what you just said. So you can think about someone else. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh thank God you have your eyes open. <laughs> Never. I'm just kidding. I'm my just eyes kidding. open. <laughs> Tomorrow, Matt's gonna start kissing with his eyes closed, and I'm be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> 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 Another fight. <laughs> oh man, but no, nah, it, it's cool to see. I mean, y'all y'all have developed into a, an amazing relationship, and y'all are two years strong. Seems like y'all are y'all were very dysfunctional at first. You had everything blow up in your face, and y'all are like the strongest couple to actually come out of that show since which has been like really amazing to see i feel like yeah i mean i think it's just because we stay out of the way like well and we got like it couldn't have been worse at the beginning to where i feel like now anything that is thrown our way it's pretty easy to handle yeah like my clothes yeah clothes toilet paper all that stuff <laughs> me kissing my dog what, 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 what's <laughs> next for you guys <clears throat> I mean, I think this year we're just probably trying to get our life together. I feel like it's been a crazy two years just coming off the show and everything. And I think for me personally, like, I've just been trying to find my grounding for, I mean, ever since all of that. And, um, I mean, yeah, I'm really excited for next year. I have, like, a, a project coming out at the beginning of the year that I'm really excited about. And, um, Are yeah, you going to do more stuff in beauty? My, I mean, I, I love beauty stuff, but I don't know. I think um, I just want to find my my niche. Like that's I'm gonna throw a bunch of. Uh, I think I think beauty. I mean, if you ever go to the the, the TikTok that I posted of you with me smelling your armpit, that yep. that one went viral, and everyone talks about just how beautiful you are and how great your makeup is and how your face is this <laughs> and that. So. No, that's what I, I mean. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of bunch of things on the wall and see what sticks and I'm sure makeup and stuff will be one of them but to be honest with you I don't really know what I'm doing with that stuff so I, I feel like I'd be a fraud if I was sitting there telling people what to do when I don't even know what I'm doing well I think that that's a, a good point though because I, I feel like most people don't know what they're doing like they're just kind of like actively figuring it out yeah but you brought, that's the goal you brought up something like maybe yesterday two days ago um you were talking about couples goals yeah so I think that's something we're gonna try to do. Like, I said, I wanted to sit down and do a, a list of goals, both individually and as a couple. That's a good idea. Yeah. You can push each other to achieve each other's individual goals and keep tabs on the ones you all want to do together. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Mm. Y'all got any girlfriends for me? You know what? You ask this every time, and I'm sure my whoever my friends that are single, they probably say yes, but. I need to make sure they're ready for it, and I also need to make sure you're ready, too. Ooh. You know? I'm ready. You're ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm in Jupiter. I'm a simple man again. All right. You heard it here first, everyone. Tyler is ready. I'm dating. I went out on a date. Yeah, I went out on a date last night. I went out on another date. A week before that. Where are you finding these applicants? Where? Yes. <laughs> 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 him just laughing he's opening up his high school yearbook <laughs> college yearbook 
so, so the one girl I went on a date with last night, she uh, she she was from my college, and she was a girl that we always had, I always had a thing with, and we like we would always see each other. We we gone out on a couple of dates, and uh, we never really, I never really crossed that line with her, and I kissed her last night. I kissed her. <laughs> when at the right on the lips. Wow. Were your eyes closed? My eyes were closed. Yeah. Okay, good job, good job. <sighs> mm-hmm. She's like a little bit of a country redneck girl. Like she like you know, she likes like she ranches and farms type? and stuff. I don't I don't have a type, I'd say. But so I bought everyone cowboy boots for, for Christmas. So I wore I wore them cowboy boots out last night. And I wore my Wrangler, like I, wore, I wore my Brett Favre Wrangler jeans on. Yes, sir. And I had the Levi's jean jacket to go with it. Different colors. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You had a jean jacket and jeans on. Yep. He had the two tone. That's a Canadian, Canadian tuxedo. tuxedo. Yeah, it was yeah. like it was like it was like an ombre. Like it went like lighter to darker. You know. Ombre. Ombre. Love it. Yeah. Yo, what? Where did y'all go? Where? I'm curious. Where did you take this lady? Um, the the restaurant was called Premium Grit. Premium Grit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, it sounds right up to her the the country theme. <laughs> the first appetizer, <laughs> cornbread and bacon. Oh my god! I'm done. Have you ever been there? No, I've never been. It, it was pretty good. The cornbread was amazing. The bacon was amazing. Everything else sucked. <laughs> you heard it here first. The company was good though. Yeah. Right. Will there be a second date? Ooh. Yeah, I'll go see her again. I'll okay. Go see her again. Okay. Yeah. We'll keep you. Yeah, keep us posted. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. keep dating around until, so I, we'll keep until, I, until I get somewhere special with somebody. You know, mm-hmm. what do you think about uh, dating around? Because I, I had a, I had a TikTok that I posted about dating around and, and casual dating, and everyone hates casual dating. I think dating this um, day and age sucks. Um, I think like social media makes everything really difficult, and I think. I think the apps can work, but I think a lot of people don't even like to go on the app because I think a lot of people on the apps aren't looking for a serious relationship. They're just looking for like some fun or like a hookup or something. I just think it's hard these days, but I think in the sense of casual dating by going on dates with a lot of people and putting yourself out there, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think, I mean, how else are you going to find someone unless you put yourself out there? And like you said, if if it... Something if something comes to fruition or if you guys hit it off or it clicks or connects, then that's a good thing. That's the only way you're going to do it. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I was going to say that, like, I don't think casual dating sucks. I think that, like, people suck. Like, I think, yeah. like... I think, people suck. No, like... I, like I think, I think it's true. Being that, I think that yeah. the, my point being is that, like, we've talked about this, like, for your single friends, like, mm-hmm. the bar for men has never been lower. It's on the floor. Like, you show up and actually knock on a girl's door. Well, here's another thing. I was just about to say, if you were to show up for a date, ring the doorbell and have flowers for her, she'd probably think you're weird at this point. But that is what is considered, like, chivalrous and polite and nice. Mm-hmm. And that's how it used to be. You don't know. You don't and now it's like a text saying, like, hey, I'm outside. I don't know. It's just, like, such a weird time. I've heard from so many girls that I was the first person to ever open their car door for them. That's Damn. what I'm saying. That's crazy. You don't open my car door. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, that's crazy. He pumps huh? my gas for me. <laughs> you better pump that gas. Door sometimes. Hey, Maybe all, all I think about out of it. every time I every time if I were to ever question if you know if a girl ever tries to pay for dinner or if a girl if I ever like no open like the car door or something like that or I or uh, I don't pour their gas I just have a feeling that my mom is going to strike lightning down on me <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing and so, so and so that's why I always do those things because I just know that I'm going to get struck sweet. by lightning well the lightning thing isn't so sweet but that's sweet mm-hmm. your mom is watching over you she yeah. does want you to treat treat all the women right like, yeah she, she'd always give me money when I was a little kid and it was, it was enough money for me to take to buy my movie ticket and buy her movie ticket and buy us candy that's cute. Yeah, that's real. I did see a TikTok the other day, and it made a lot of sense because Matt and I, we like to split the bill a lot. I'll pick up a bill a lot of times. And remember, we we were ha- we were on live or something. People were so mad about that. Um, but I saw this TikTok the other day, and the guy was saying he will always pick up the bill 
at least when he's first dating this girl, um, like whenever he's going on dates, he'll always pick up the bill no matter what, because just for that girl to get ready, she's getting her hair done. She has to buy makeup. She has to buy her skincare. She's buying like crazy clothes, all of that stuff. We get our nails done. Just like, not for every date, but yeah, just but like it's a lot. being a girl is expensive. Yeah. And guys just like, he'll roll out of bed, splash some water on his face, put some deodorant on, brush his teeth, and he's good. Yeah. He's yeah, expensive. Yeah. I, honestly, yeah. But I don't even, I don't even get my hair done. Like, I can't imagine like, dot, like, having to get your hair dyed, that, that's like 400, 500 bucks every few weeks. All right. So you're saying that she looked raggedy and they got split it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying he was saying how <laughs> girls spend money on all these things that guys don't even think to spend money on. So when she's getting ready for the date, he's thinking she might have just got her nails done for this date. She might have just picked up some new makeup for tonight. She might have picked up a new top for tonight. Like, I don't know. Not that any of that's necessary, but he's just thinking just being a And you know, Matt just like went to his dirty laundry and just pulled out some old jeans he wore. Yeah, maybe maybe she did. But <laughs> no, no, I'm saying Matt. Know that's what he's you know, doing. It's what Matt's yeah. doing. Yeah, that's what Matt's doing. He's going in your closet because he doesn't even own nice clothes. Yeah, the has got all the nice stuff. He's like, let me see what Tyler's got. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I see it on social media all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then he's like, You're not the only one. I just saw JP my board shorts. He's like, oh my gosh, you forgot. Me and Tyler are the same uh, size shoe. Mm -hmm. He'll run in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at DC. <laughs> it's all right. It works both ways, though. Yeah, whenever you need any blue lemon, he's got you. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Well, let's go into Collins and we'll wrap this thing up. But, guys, this has been fun. Let's do it. Rachel, you're, you're not as bad as I thought you were. Oh, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> That's going to be a headline tomorrow. Tyler Cameron says Rachel's not as bad as he thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our first one. We got Jen. Jen, you got to unmute yourself. Okay, am I on now? Yeah, what's up, Jen? Hey, okay, Rachel and Matt. I'm a huge fan, huge fan of y'all. I follow y'all a lot. Um, Thanks. At the beginning of the year, I, uh, well, I'm a travel nurse, and I started off in Raleigh, and I didn't know that you're from Raleigh. <laughs> so I'd like to know what your favorite restaurant is in Raleigh. Oh. Char Grill. First of all, only shout out to all the travel I nurses, man. After, after uh, Tyler in general. Tyler's aunt is a freaking nurse and the stuff she had to deal with through COVID, I was like, man, that could never be me. Mm -hmm. And like, so shout out to, shout out to you yeah, for dealing with all that heroes. stuff. And also shout out to the 919. That's where I'm <laughs> from. That's my hometown. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm from Georgia. So we're both Georgia pizza. Oh, there you go. Love it. Um, favorite restaurant though, I'm going to keep it very simple for you. Um, okay. Char Grill is... Okay. The world's best cheeseburger. Tyler will agree with that. Um, Never had it. <laughs> Char Grill's my favorite restaurant. I go there every time I land in Raleigh. Uh, their cheeseburger and french fries are... are. I, I will... It is very good. I'll go to battle for those. Those are my... It's my favorite meal. Cheeseburger and fries from Char Grill. And then pizza. Okay, what'd you say? What else? Oh, she said, what else? Oh, and last place. I'm not just going to give you two. I'm not going to give you... So, yeah, I can actually go to these places. So, Char Grill's the first one. Mm -hmm. The second one is Oakwood Pizza Box. Like oh, Oakwood. Really good pizza. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, fire. I would recommend that, that to anyone. Did you get... Did you Where in Raleigh is it? Oakwood. Downtown. Like uh, okay. Yeah, because I... Well, I used to live there. Um, I lived in um, Cary, Raleigh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You live down there with um, TC's Cousins. That's where my family's at. Oh, really? Here's nice. Okay, yeah. Well, I was at uh, Wake Med um, Hospital for yeah. four months. Yeah, and then I went yep. to Boston. But um, my favorite restaurant was Brewery Bravana. <laughs> See, you, you fancy. I, I'm a burger and pizza yeah. guy. I, I haven't <laughs> even heard that place before. Wait, really? You know, what was that, what was that um, restaurant that... Your mom really wanted to go to, and you didn't go. You didn't want to go, but we went, and it ended up being really, really good. It was. It's right by your house. I don't remember. Oh, Winston's. That's no, my third one. No, no. Last one. All right. I can't Char Grill, Oakwood Pizza Box, and Winston's. It's next to the same. That's three. You can't miss on any of those three. <laughs> okay, wait. No, but I got a uh, Brie Bellana from Rachel's story. <laughs> like, 
is that what is that what it was? So Rachel, are you even really a foodie? Maybe that's where I'm talking about. Yeah, it's like an Asian tapas place, kind of, and they have the best cocktails, like the best. Like I used to live in New York yes. City, it's not that I had the best cocktails there, but this place is like on another level, and they have like the best, like Asian hot sauce is what like I lived for. It's like yeah, a, a restaurant looks like a bookstore, kind of. It's like a bookstore yes. It's yeah, downtown. it's that brewery we went with your mom, and then the oh, so good. I love oh, that spot. Oh, 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 oh. We've we've only been there once, and we went there because we were waiting we're for a table for That's another crazy. restaurant like across the street. We were so, waiting to go to Cafe Luna, which is yep. another good Italian spot. Yeah, we went to. It's so good. That yeah, is I loved it. I loved that spot, and it's so cute in there. Wow, that's, yo, she's on it. Bro. Awesome. Well, Jen, thanks for calling in. We got to get some other calls. We appreciate you. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Tyler's like, like Howard Stern on the damn button. <laughs> like Drewski. That bit hang up on you quick. Drewski. <laughs> I love watching Drewski. Uh, so does he. Oh, my gosh. His lives are funny. Haley, we got Haley on the line. Hi, this is actually, I don't know how, this is Haley's mom. What's up, oh. mama? I don't know why mama. I have her. Uh, she's been on before. She said she talked to you guys before, or Tyler. How you she doing? Has. I'm okay. How are you guys? We're doing well. Um, I just wanted to say hi. I'm a fan of The Bachelor. Watched all of you on there. Amazing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Thank, you. Um, Thank you. Yeah, no, it's cool to talk to, to to someone who, you know, went on that journey with us. True. Sorry we put you through that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I enjoy it. Um we always would watch it together, my daughter and I. But uh, hey, we're coming to Florida soon. We want to. Do you guys still live in Florida, Matt? Yeah, TC, uh, his address. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. TC's down in Florida still. What about you guys? Where are you at? Uh, I forget. I'm back up in New York uh, where I'm actually roommates with TC up there too. So um, if you're in New York, you might have a better chance of running into us. But if you're in, in Jupiter, there's a good chance you'll end up running into Tyler. Oh, uh, okay. You don't sound yeah, too excited to run into me. friend that lives in Port St. Lucie. Isn't that near you? Yep, St. Port of Lucie. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. All right. Well, we'll have to look you up. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for calling in. Uh -huh. Bye, Haley's mom. Bye. Tell Haley you said hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. All right. Here we go. How do you do this? How do you get all these calls lined up? You can. There's a button. Oh. <laughs> there's a button. <laughs> The button. Uh, problem is, hello, y'all got to answer. I'm just going to start calling them all. Oh, we got one. Here we go. Hi. We got, is it Yari? Yareli. Yareli. What's going on, Yareli? Hi. What's up with you guys? Not much. How are you doing tonight? Pretty good. Um, so my question is for all of you guys, but mainly Rachel. Okay. Good luck. So I am a huge advocate for like girls making the first move, but it seems like every time I like mention that to my friends, I do it at like a bar, or, like restaurant or something. They're always like looking at me sideways and I'm like, am I like out of touch with reality? Like what are your guys' opinions on that? Love it. Go ahead, Rach. Um, I think that there's a lot of guys out there that are more nervous than they want to admit about going up to a girl um, and pulling the first move. So I think a lot of guys are probably pleasantly surprised or probably like the initiative of a girl going up to them. Um, yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think if anything, it, it it's um, nice for the, for the both of y'all because if you want to go talk to someone, you should go talk to them. I mean, you don't have to wait for them. And two, like I just said, I think the guy appreciates that too because he might want to be talking 
or he might want to go up to you to talk to you, but he's really nervous. So um, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. I, I like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I think women are scary. So if you come up and <laughs> you initiate the conversation, then that's like, you know, that breaks down that wall because, mm-hmm. you know, like Rachel said, guys, you know, they have this like persona that, you know, they might have that riz, but uh, the, you put yourself in a better position to to be successful if you having more conversations and like, oh, I'm just going to wait. Because like, mm-hmm. I feel you on both sides. Like some women are like, you know, I'm I'm not doing that. Like, you better come talk to me. Like, you right, girl. Like, but you might be waiting for a little bit. I also think... Um, I wouldn't ever, like, really get hit on, like, ever before I met yeah. this guy, obviously. No, I feel that. And, and I never it understood, happen. like, I was like, what's wrong with me? And then I finally felt like, I just told myself, I'm like, maybe these guys are just too nervous to come up to me. Like, I don't know. And um, and so I just, I, I, that's, I think that's why I really, I don't think there's anything wrong with the So then you signed up for a dating show. If anything, they could just be too nervous or maybe they think, like, Oh, she wouldn't give me the time of day or whatever. I don't know. I don't think I, I like that. I think that if you want to go talk to someone, you should go talk to them. You don't have to wait for them. I agree you with you. Do you think there's like a medium or anything? Go ahead, TC. No, I, I think it's I think it's a very bold move, but like bold is sexy. And yeah. I think you going up to go after what you want is important. <laughs> and that person may have not seen you at the bar. That person may have not, you know. Like you, you don't know. So it, like my dad always says, my dad is old, out of shape guy. He he always tells me, you know, you gotta keep that bat off the shoulder. You gotta keep swinging. You'll never know who you meet or what happens. And, <laughs> right. and you gotta just go for it, you know? And I just think like, I think it's so sexy when a girl has confidence, when she walks up to you, when she comes up to you, introduces herself. Like that to me is so hot. And making the first move from a woman is, 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 is a power move, as strong and sexy. I don't think you need to to worry about what other guys think or what other girls think. I think you got to do, if you're doing that already, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. And I think a lot of women might think like, um, I'm threatened by it. Well, no, I'm saying like other women, like if, if, if they think it's weird for you to make the first move, they're probably just trying to play like the whole hard to get thing. And they're probably just waiting for the guy to make the move just to see like, if he's actually interested in you or not, but you can also find that out from just talking to him in the first place. So I don't know. I think right. that's a little outdated and I like that you, yeah. I agree that it's a power move. For sure. Also, also if you're my girlfriend, right. And we're dating for a long time and every now and then you go out and make that first move on me sexually. <laughs> I'll be turned up. I'll be all bo- hot and bothered and all flustered. And, <laughs> and you will, you will have me. You will have me for whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> so that yeah, first move that first move is strong <laughs> where are you from where are you from yeah, you Jupiter, where are you? Thing, thing. What, what do you guys think is like a good go to when you go up to someone oh you know what's the one that you love right now you, we can't do oh I, uh, okay no you can't have her do that no 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 Rachel <laughs> I'll do it huh? I'll try it tonight what is it Matt well, all right, so it's when you go up to, like, I'd I go up to Rachel this at the is a, bar. This is a TikTok trend right now. <laughs> I go up to Rachel at the bar. I'm like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, uh, that guy over there thinks you're really cute. And then you run over to the other side of the bar, and then you, like, wave from, like, the other side of the bar. <laughs> Have you seen oh, that? Gosh, seen that? No, you don't need to do that. Hey, you don't need to do that. Tonight? The guy needs to work all that hard. The guy needs to work really hard. Uh, what would you I, like if a girl came up? Like, if I came up to you and introduced myself or something, what would you like? I don't know if you were like, if you were like, like giving me a hard time about what I was drinking, like, like if you were like, uh, like is that? Yeah, like I think my way of being flirty is like being fun or like trying to be like easygoing or funny or something like that. So maybe like, and also it really takes the pressure off the other person if you. Like, instead of saying, like, hi, my name, oh, what's your name? And then it's just, like, Yeah, if you said something on? funny, like, you're, like, are you really drinking, like... Yeah, like, if you picked on like, him a little bit... Like, is that Shirley Temple? Like, I don't know, something just, like, very, like, like, giving him a hard time on us. But again, yeah, I don't have answer. any game. You got to talk to Tyler. Tyler got all that sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never said anything. So I walk up to him, I tell him, how you doing? <laughs> My name is Tyler, last name Cameron, and I was wondering. 
if I could take you out, show you a good time, take you to my house. Here, y'all ain't heard that song. That's Charlie Wilson. That's Charlie Wilson. You put it in the cardio. I love that. Song. That's my song. If you sang, if you went up to somebody and you sang that to no, them at the bar, don't sing. No, don't do that. Don't do that. But but what I what I try and do is, is like if I if if I if there's someone I really want to go up to, I think I think something nice to say to them always is like, yo, I would be so upset with myself if I left here and didn't say hi to you. Yeah, Boom. that's a great Boom. line. That's a great there line. There it goes. I'd fold. Yeah, that's a great line. But imagine if you said that to a guy, he'd probably be like really flattered and like he turned would, on. He would be dumbfounded. He'd be like, I'm charge it to the game. <laughs> Million dollars worth of game right here. Let me write this. Down. <laughs> <laughs> he said, only want the game. Only want the game. That's so true. Honestly, I've never had game. No, I said, charge it to the <laughs> game. Million dollars worth of game right here. That should be your yeah, next so you got to call right. back next week and let us know how that goes. I'm going to try the TikTok trend tonight, and I'll let you know how that goes, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like that. Look it up on TikTok so you get a good little Maybe grasp of it. Here. But what if he wants, like, he should film. That would be funny. That would be hey, hilarious. Yeah. Right? If you did that. Yeah, it would go. Yep. Okay. We're going to do it tonight. <laughs> awesome. Well, you're ready. Just tell him that you'd be upset if you didn't say hi to him. and Let me know how that goes. All right. Bye. Bye, Bye. Riley. Bye. See you Bye. Later. Well, Matt, Rachel, that was a blast, man. Thank you all for joining us and having fun with us. Having us. You, uh, you guys, anytime you ever want to come on, share stories. If you got something exciting going on you want to speak about, please come on. Please join us. Here to support. Love you guys. I'm happy for you guys. Being the third wheel is not so bad after all. <laughs> I'm the third wheel. Never forget. <laughs> no, I'm the third wheel. <laughs> oh wow, wow! You heard it here first. <laughs> but no, it, it, it's fun. I look up to you guys. I admire, and I'm thankful for the friendship that we have and everything. So there is no real beef, you guys. Too. There is no real beef. You heard it here first. There was a little beef, though. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes a little cheeseburger now and then. Yeah. <laughs> But, all right, we're logging off, y'all. Next week, we're back at it. Episode 26, 25. Who knows where we're at? But love y'all. Be good. Be safe. Happy New Year's. Bye. Bye.